Liam, a lot to take in after that cup tie, but first and foremost, you threw, and you must be really pleased with that. Really pleased uh, to get through against uh, Fort Mansfield were outstanding, especially second half. It was a proper cup tie. It was enjoyable. Even times when it was near our goal, it wasn't for me. But I think in terms of first round Carabao Cup game, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And both teams played their part and I'm delighted to get through into the next round. We've spoken quite a lot about the, the pre-season, the fact it was so short, sure, everything yeah. like that. Was this the type of game in the cup that you needed? Because you mentioned there it was a proper cup tie. Perfect, perfect. And again, you have to remember that a lot for a lot of those players that started the game, that's their first 90 minutes. Even in pre-season, they didn't get those 90 minutes. So delighted with their attitude, their character. And I felt second half, um, Mansfield got the, the upper hand in terms of territory and balls in our box. And what's really pleasing for me this season is I'm able to turn around and see quality on the bench, whether that's in the league, whether that's in the cup. And that's going to be really, really important in terms of moving forward. In terms of the performance then, what did you make of it? I thought it was really good first half. Obviously, there are a few sloppy moments and we're trying to play out from the back, you know, so we're going to make mistakes. But our first goal comes from playing out from the back. So I'm not going to change. We just need to get better at it. And when we were better at it, we completely dominated and controlled the game, similar to Charlton, had chances to score. And it was a really, really good goal. I didn't, I couldn't work, I couldn't work out who actually scored the goal. First own goal. It was an own goal. First, I thought it was Dobbs. Then I thought it was Knighty, but it was an own goal. Great move, a great run from Sibs. But again, that comes from being brave and playing out from the back, which is what I want and what we will get better at. Little doubt about who scored the second. Tom Barcalson came off the bench. You, you mentioned there the, the quality that you've got. Yeah. You wanted them to come on and make an impact. Mendez Lang and Barcalson, they did that. It, it was a lovely move, lovely goal. It was, and, and it was crying out for those two. I thought we, we, we played a diamond for the first time as well, so credit to the players for that. I wanted to see a different shape without the ball. And I just felt we lacked natural width and pace. Um, so I made the double change in terms of bringing those two on. And sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. Uh, fortunately for us, the two subs combined score a really, really good goal. And then we have a lot of chances after that and don't quite take them. Disappointingly give sloppy free kicks away. And we've got to cut that out moving forward in the season, giving the opp opportunity to the opposition to put balls in our box. But overall, I'm absolutely delighted with the application of the players. And they need to rest and get ready for a big game on Saturday. You made changes. As those that came in giving you food for thought, I don't yeah. want to go over each individual player, but Louis Sibley's been banging on the door with yeah. his performances off the bench. Jake Rooney, who was signed yesterday, yeah. what a debut for him. Absolutely delighted with Jake. Um, and Jake has earned, first of all, he came in as a trialist, earned his contract. It was, we were delighted with him as a staff in terms of the first team staff. He's, he's been an absolute joy. The academy staff delighted to have him. And he's got a great character and he's deserved this chance. And I'm not scared to put young players in. You know, that's what we've done for a long time now. And I'll continue to do that at the right time. Um, so for his debut, I was really, really pleased. And I want a competitive squad. I've been saying it from the start of pre-season. I want players to be disappointed to not start but not show that disappointment the wrong way, show me when they get their chance on the pitch. And I thought from 1 to 11, and also the experienced lads that came on, they did that today. You talked about it being a proper cup tie. I think it was also with the atmosphere as well. Derby end sold out, which we know is standard. But the, just the whole atmosphere around it, it just made it feel like a proper game, not one of these early season cup ties that you could yeah. do without. No, perfect. Perfect for our preparation again moving forward in the season. I don't want to say it's standard, Lovesy, for our fans to sell out. It is incredible. You know, and I'm really thankful and the players are grateful. We have got an unbelievable fan base, unbelievable support to fill out that end. And again, it, honestly, it makes a difference. It gives us that, that we're playing into that end second half. You know, so I'm absolutely delighted that they came. They were so loud and hopefully that continues through the season. Which we know is standard, actually, that they're very loud for every game. Draws on Wednesday night, so we'll talk to you about that on Thursday, but now full focus on Barnsley and hopefully picking up three points at home again. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult game. Uh, we've dropped three points, uh, which I'm not happy about, but I said after the, the last game, uh, hopefully we get the three points on Saturday and that puts us in a really, really good place and that's a good, solid start to the season.